Now Cleveland's got a big decision to make. You have Cleveland taking Andrew Wiggins. You have Cleveland taking Jabari Parker. Why Parker? Well, he just fits exactly what Cleveland needs to me. They need a forward who can really shoot the ball and stretch the floor. They need a guy who's got a high basketball IQ, and they need a kid with toughness. And Jabari Parker has all those attributes. Not that Andrew Wiggins doesn't have some, but Andrew Wiggins is a guy who's going to come to the table right away and provide athleticism and an elite-level defender, potentially. Jabari Parker, the other issue with him, he can bring some sort of leadership to the table, to a locker room that really needs it. Uh, lacking with Kyrie Irving right now. Andrew Wiggins, he's not a leader. He's never going to be a leader. What's the potential that maybe number one overall is not going to Cleveland? How much are they listening to uh, potential trade offers? They were getting trade offers before the Embiid, but once the Embiid thing fell, because of how it affects players a little bit lower in the draft, they got calls from the 76ers uh, offering 3 and 10, Thaddeus Young. They got calls from... Uh, the Utah Jazz uh, offering number five and another player on the roster. They got calls from the Orlando Magic for four and 12. They have to figure out, can we get a player who can help us right now and still move and, and have a great prospect out of this as well? I think it's much more of an option for Cleveland than it was before because I think their heart had been set on Embiid. And they might be able to move down this draft and still get Embiid and still get an impact player. So I think those odds go up. Jeff, what do you think it's going to take for them to give up that number one pick? I don't think they're giving up. Uh, unless, like Chad said, you can get a proven player that's going to come in and, and, and turn them into a really good playoff team. I think they sit tight. They've got pretty good options. Jabari Parker and Andrew Wiggins, two guys that could be high-level NBA players. Maybe not franchise guys, but maybe that next tier. That draft is a fast approaching here. Chad for Jeff Goodman. They will be studying right up until draft day. It happens here on ESPN next Thursday. It tips off at 7 Eastern. Guys, everything's subject to change when you're within a week of the draft.